Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Matthews. I am a proud Indiana University alumna from the class of 2003 and I am here to tell you all about my career which is Director of International Admissions at Syracuse University in upstate New York. Um, you know, I work with a team of people that recruit and review applications for international students from all over the world um, at Syracuse University. So that is my current career path. I've been in the field of international admissions for about 15 years now. I worked for five different institutions, including IUB, IUB and IUPUI. <laughs> um, so I've certainly um, been part of the IU family as well doing this profession, um, though I had, you know, sort of an interesting career path to get to where I am now. In terms of why I chose this career, it really is um, an area that combined a lot of my interests. And, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize when they go to university that, you know, working in college admissions is even an, a career opportunity, let alone international admissions. Um, and, you know, I was graduating, when I was graduating from IU, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my degree, um, and which I think is a common, a, co a common occurrence for people. And so I ended up applying for a job in the admissions office at, at Indiana University. Um, and I worked my first international admissions job there right out of college, um, where I primarily actually worked with graduate applicants for PhDs and master's programs. Um, and I did leave the field briefly to go to graduate school in California. I have an MFA in film production and directing from Chapman University in California. That's a long story. That's not really related to my current career path, but um, when I left California after I finished my master's degree, um, I actually ended up back in international admissions at IUPUI. So I um, have certainly, and then I've I've worked at DePauw University in Indiana, then came up to upstate New York, worked at Hamilton College for a little while here, which is another liberal arts college, um, and then ended up here at Syracuse, where I've been for about six years now. So, um, you know, it's, it's a career path where I really get to combine my love of international travel and my love of working with people from other backgrounds and studying other cultures um, with a really rewarding career path. That's also fun. <laughs> it's a fun career. Um, you know, I have recruited students from almost every major world region. I've been to over 56 different countries um, in my in my current job, um, you know, to recruit students in their own home countries and, you know, have learned a lot about the world, about different cultures, about different educational systems along the way. So I've been very blessed um, to have found such an interesting career path. Um, you know, I know one of the questions that I get asked is, do I need to know another language in order to do this career? I would say that it's not necessarily a requirement, um, but it can definitely be helpful. I myself studied both French and Japanese at IU Bloomington um, as an undergrad student, and the, both languages have certainly come in handy in my career path, um, you know, both in reviewing uh, academic records for international applicants, but also when I've traveled, you know, being able to just get around and ask basic questions. I wouldn't say I'm exactly conversational in either language, but it does help me get around. And then I also think it goes a really long way to be able to address people in their own languages. So even though I studied two languages, I can say hello and thank you in about 16 different languages because out of all the things you need to know, those are probably the most useful phrases um, to know when you're traveling abroad. So honestly, um, I do think having some exposure to foreign language can be really beneficial um, going into this particular career path. You know, um, I think the skills that I have developed working in this field of study um, has really, or not field of study, but f career field, <laughs> um, has really, have they've really been about adaptability, flexibility, gaining cultural competency, um, you know, understanding that 
you know, what is considered completely fine and normal in the US might be considered offensive somewhere else, um, or vice versa, actually. Um, you know, different cultures communicate in different ways. They have different barriers in terms of um, cultural understandings. And so it's really important to be able to understand the ins and outs of different cultures around the world in order to do this job effectively. And so I definitely think it's an important part of what we do. As a supervisor, I actually lead a team of about eight people right now. Um, as a supervisor, the skills that I think um, I look for when people are applying for jobs to work on my team. I really value a few things. One is international experience. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be foreign language study, but having a study abroad experience can go a really long way. I've worked with people who have done the Peace Corps after they graduated um, from college themselves, and that is really great experience for going into this field. You know, people who've worked abroad, people who've studied abroad. Um, and again, also people who have studied other languages and other cultures. I think those are all things that I look for. Um, another huge benefit <clears throat> is people who have familiarity with international education systems, because that's a big part of what we do is reading transcripts from countries all over the world and understanding the different education systems that students are applying for is a really, really valuable skill for people who come into our field. Um, it's not necessarily a hard expectation, but it's something that I certainly am looking for when I'm reviewing uh, resumes for people applying for this particular career field. Um, advice that I would have is just be open-minded, stay intellectually curious, um, you know, be willing to learn and be willing to be adaptable. <laughs> Again, um, it sounds very glamorous to get to go all over the world and meet students, and it can be, um, but it can also be really challenging and it can also be um, frustrating at times. It's certainly given me a great deal of patience <laughs> and, and adaptability and flexibility in my own life. It's been a highly transformative career path for me personally, um, very rewarding. I absolutely love working with international students. I think that they're amazing and I I hope that this gave you some interesting insight into this career field. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.